and welcome to Chloe Harrods. I am of course Chloe. Today we are going to be talking about how to feel confident on camera. Now I can't quite believe I'm making this video because I don't often feel confident on camera. <laughs> it's all a bit of an act but I think I've picked up some tips on how to make it seem like I do feel a bit more confident than I actually am. I'm actually really happy to say that. I was requested to make this video. It's the first time I've ever been requested to make anything, which means I obviously am coming across a lot more confident than I feel, which obviously is really great news. And yeah, hopefully these tips will be helpful for you. Made myself a little list. Now, I did YouTube a bit differently to how most people do it, in the sense that I, made a channel and was making videos, but did not try to build an audience for a very long time. Instead, I kept my channel, oh, I look like I've got no hair. Instead, I kept my channel, I guess, a bit to myself. I didn't share it, I wasn't really promoting it, I wasn't trying to grow. Instead, I was just trying to find my footing and build my confidence. Now, a lot of people, when they start a YouTube channel, they start with the purpose of growing an audience, which was, of course, what I wanted to do eventually. And maybe a lot of the reason I didn't try to grow an audience sooner was because I didn't think I could. But either way, those years, they helped me with my confidence on camera. If you look back to my first few videos, you'll see how nervous I am. I barely move. I'm like this. I'm all shriveled up. And I'm stumbling over my words. I'm talking quietly. And what I'm saying is not entertaining. And... How I'm acting is not good to watch, it's uncomfortable. So if you do want to build an audience on YouTube, it is important that you become comfortable in front of the camera because you want your audience to feel comfortable watching you. And if you're uncomfortable, your audience are also going to feel that. But having my channel all those years before I actually started to build an audience, which really I've only recently started doing, and even now my audience is very relatively small, it gave me the growth time. Now, I'm not saying put a load of effort in, make a load of videos, edit a load of videos, and have nobody see them, but practice talking to a camera. It's as simple as that. If you spend more time talking to a camera, it becomes to feel a second nature. First few times I did this, I felt bloody stupid, because you do. You just sat in your bedroom, and I'll be honest, my setup looks pretty nice, but it's a mess around me, and is not, what I do on a daily basis, you're not brought up talking to a camera. You don't learn how to do that. Uh, it's something you have to teach yourself. So just sitting in front of a camera and talking, you don't even have to switch it on or maybe switch it on and watch it back and watch where you were nervous. My first tip is just practice. Now, if you do want to get content out there and you're not very confident speaking to a camera, maybe figure out what's the best way to do it. Something like Instagram stories can be very casual and it can just build your confidence speaking to a camera. The clips are very short, you don't have to worry about editing. It takes a lot of the pressure away. So Instagram stories is a great way to build camera confidence. Or there's also the option of vlogging. Before I did sit down videos, I did some vlogs because they felt more casual. My friends could be in them, which took some of the pressure off me. And it was fun because I was just sharing my day. And yeah, I felt more confident with that. So figure out where you feel confident and maybe Go with that and build on that and then take the next step. My next tip would be to plan. Know what you want to say. Don't go, oh, I'm gonna film a video. I don't know what I'm going to say. Now, I am awful for doing this when I have book videos, admittedly. I always forget to refresh my memory on the books until I get and sit down in front of the camera. And I think it probably shows that I am least confident when I film those videos. I really need to be more organized with that. But if you know what you're going to say, it takes out a lot of the ums, ers and likes because you know what's coming next and you have it planned and you have an idea and you know what you want the outcome to be. If you don't know what you want the outcome to be, you're bound to come across nervous because you you don't know what the, your purpose of being there is. That isn't going to come across confident because you don't feel confident, you're not sure on the topic. Also, just check in the little things which could get in the way. Have you charged a camera? Have you got a memory card which actually has space on it? Anything which can disrupt your flow of filming might put you off. So you, you don't want to be switching camera batteries. You don't want craziness happening in the rest of your house. You want 
to really carve out the time and have everything prepared so that you can just sit down and do it. My third tip is just be aware you can edit. You might film and you might not feel confident and you might not like the outcome. Nobody has to see it. If it doesn't go well, nobody has to see it. You can take out bits where you're nervous, where you stumble over your words while you're still practicing. And over time, there will be less and less for you to take out. If you have a Mac, use iMovie to edit. It comes with your computer, is easy to use. If not, there are loads of online editing options. So have a little look, but know that not everything has to stay. You can start the video as many times as you like. I find once I get in the flow of a video, I'm fine. But the start, sometimes I film five or six times because when you initially sit down and say hello to a camera, you feel like a freaking idiot. But as you get talking, you kind of forget that you're having a conversation with a camera. My next tip is take away any distractions. Now this does kind of relate to the one I said earlier about planning. For example, I live at home with my family. I find it's best to film when I'm home alone because my mum will pop in my room, bringing me washing or just having a chat. Maybe the post might come. There are always going to be distractions. There are other things going on around you. But if you try to minimise them while you're filming, you can concentrate on what you're actually filming. Another tip is focus on what you're filming and why you're filming it, not who's watching. If I recorded this and thought about who was watching, I'd feel like an idiot. Especially, I think, when it comes to thinking about people who you know that might be watching. For example, if I thought, oh, someone from school who's much cooler than me might be watching, I then don't want to film. I don't then feel good in front of a camera. I then feel stupid. But it's not about them. It's about me and it's about what I want to film and the content I want to put out there. Of course, audience matters. Of course it does. But while you're filming, they are not your priority. Your priority is filming what you want to film. So you know what you're filming, why you're filming it, and don't worry about who's watching until it's uploaded. My next tip, which I'm sure I've kind of brushed on in others, is just keep trying. You're not going to feel confident at first and you're not going to feel confident every time. I certainly don't always feel confident filming, but I'm definitely leaps and bounds ahead of what I was when I started. The trick is not giving up, just accepting that you're going to feel stupid. You might even look stupid. You It might not come out how you wanted because you feel stupid. But that doesn't stop you making another video where you might feel slightly better. You might have a bit more confidence. And as time goes on, you'll see your confidence improving and your video quality will improve too. It's just kind of allowing yourself to be a bit shit. You're never perfect at something when you first begin. You don't start something and be the best. You have to practice. Everything gets better with practices. That's how you improve. So you can expect to be confident. You can expect to be good at talking to a camera if it's not something you're used to doing. Uh, it's only for doing it that you get better. My next tip is pretend you're talking to a friend. When we talk to our friends or family, we automatically feel more relaxed than we do when we're talking to strangers. So just think of your camera as a friend. Also know that the people who are watching your videos are watching for a reason. They can obviously relate to you or your content is helpful for them. So bear that in mind. People aren't out to get you. So you're talking to your friend, your camera is your friend. Nextly, the obvious most annoying tip which ever gets said, but be yourself. People will be able to sense if your content isn't true to you. I've made content before which hasn't been what I've wanted to make, it's been what I thought people have wanted to see and I think it showed. Just be yourself. Like I said, you can edit, but also don't edit out some bits. Keep in some bits where you stumble over your words or keep in some bits where you act like a bit of a dick because you want to come across like a human, not a robot. So be yourself, don't tone your personality down, don't become a robot. And my last tip is a bit of a superficial one, but look nice. Put on a bit of makeup. Now I'm struggling a bit with camera confidence because I have um, had a bad case of eczema recently, so I stopped filming for a while because of it. Uh, but now I'm back to filming. I've not been wearing makeup very often because of my eczema, but today I put on makeup and I feel good about myself. I also, made sure my background looks semi nice and it makes me feel good it makes it makes me feel good and when I feel good I feel confident put on a bit of lipstick make your background look nice make things look good and then when things look good you might feel good about them as well if you're struggling with camera confidence just, just keep just keep at it it will get better and 
also know that you're the only person that is likely to remember those times where um, you filmed a video and it didn't turn out as you wanted and you didn't feel very confident. Other people do not know how you're feeling and you know that. So just work on your outer body language a bit. Uh, try to be open, try not to shrivel up, try to move, try to humanise yourself. Nobody else is going to remember if you don't come across confident on camera and if there's something which you're like, oh, I don't like how I come across on that, don't post it. Or you can put something up and then privatise it at a later date. Or you can keep it up and then everybody can see how far you've come. Either way, I think it's just about the doing. Let me know if you're trying to improve your camera confidence and if any of these tips have helped you. I really hope they have. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Remember, I have a blog. It's chloeharriots.com and you can also find me on socials at chloeharriots. Right, sending you good vibes. Good luck with your filming. Bye.